Okay, so I've got some basics in. Um, the colors of the building, I am using Canson um, XL student grade watercolor paper, which lists really easily. I wanted to show you reflections, so um, I did that. I also wanted to show you the underpainting. So I did the lightest stuff first, so I did all of the buildings, painted right over the windows as if they weren't there, and then I'm coming back and mixing a variety of little darks to kind of like plop in here and indicate the windows. I've gone around them really loosely with the color of the um, surrounding window and I can switch to a tinier uh, brush to get in there. But these, the further away they are, the more they're just kind of dark indications. Oop, there was a little wetness still there, so that picked it up. I'll just blot that off. Um, I am going to come under here for the things that are sticking out. Again, I kind of got ahead of myself there. Just lift that right off. Oop, I still went in. It's still wet. Leave it alone. Okay, that's the answer to that. There's shadow right underneath this. Cast shadow, that's actually dry, so I can do that. Um, I'm going to try not to have every window be exactly the same because that's boring. There's no, there's no point in that. And there should be some variety in there. So I'm going to use the same colors that I've already used. But they get more just sort of lines as they go off further into space. So I've got enough little things in here now so that you can begin to see what's happening. And I can come back and add some more variety to that later. But I wanna show you the reflections. So reflections in water, this is a, a little uh, river, I guess, and there's a bridge. We've got some faraway things back there. This is the other side of the river. This is a little boat. And I put it in because it's got a nice little reflection. So the reflections are darker just by a bit of in the water of what they're reflecting. So this is some of that same color right there. And I'm gonna leave it like that. And then we've got the little brick from that building. I'm gonna get my little brick color over here and that's gonna be there right at the bottom. And then the rest of that building is white. So I'm gonna leave that very light. I'm gonna make it just a little bit gray. And the water always has some horizontal lines. So, and there's edges, right? So we gotta keep that wiggliness. I've got the pencil lines in there to help me Remember, now this is dark up here, so it's going to be darker there, and it's above it's above this this dark area here is above that building. So I'm going to go ahead and make my gray a little bit darker. So I just have a purple, adding a little bit of blue into it because I want it to read as darker. Horizontal lines, not being too fussy about it. I can come back in and clear those up a little bit more later if I want to. This is elongated here. I think I'll put a little bit of the beige, which is just yellow ochre with a lot of water, kind of above that, that idea. And then these right here are going to be reflected. So this is a little bit of peach. Now, I know the reflection is in the water, but I'm not actually using the color of the water here. I'm gonna come back in and in these spaces, and I don't mind if they mix like that because that's kind of nice. It's kind of like what happens, right? One color kind of merges into another. And this one's a little bit more brick-like over here. So there's that, okay? Now, a little bit while it's wet, of that indication that there's some dark windows in there. I'm gonna just let that bleed 
This one, we're not really going to see, maybe a little bit there. And this one in the white building. All right, I'll put that because those are pretty dominant. So I'm going to put that. Okay. Now I'm noticing that this is too light and it doesn't have that white building show up. I'm going to blot that off. That white building needs to look lighter. There we go. And I'll call, wait till it dries and come back and put windows in that again. Okay, so that's the idea. This, I've left a little weight to show me where that's going to be dark. The underneath of this is dark. That's light. We've got some little bushes here. I guess these are like little, um, I don't know, little things that stick out into the water. There's kind of two rows of them. I'm going to vary the color in there a little bit. I don't know what they are. Maybe they're potted plants or something. I have no idea. Um, so this, obviously, this is for you, Carla. But I might, if it comes out pretty good, I might do it. I'm going to put that dark bit under there, let that bleed into that. And now I'm going to put that reflection down in the water. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker down in the water. So it should be mirror image. So where the dark goes up, the dark comes down into the water. And then I'm going to mimic those bushes down in here too with a, an idea of the green. That's going to go right over that building. And then I have a little bit, I see I started with the water here. So I'm going to put the water under there. And it's going to bleed down in there, and that's okay because you know what? It's in shadow under there. So that's okay. So the shadow comes out from here. This is from a reference photo from Carla. And we got some great flowers here. But this is what I wanted to give you. And then up here, we've got those faraway trees. So we've got a little bit of that happening in here in this horizontal. And then the water, the color of the water, which is varied, and we're going to go around that. And I'm keeping all my strokes horizontal. and coming right across there. And I'm gonna paint around, and this is critical, where these bright flowers are gonna go. They're bright flowers and bright leaves. Because if I put the water, the color of the water, over where the flowers and leaves are, then it's gonna make them dull. They're not gonna pop and be really bright. So let me just put this in here real quick and show you what it looks like as I paint around and just kind of give those horizontal lines in between some of the flowers and the leaves. And that's why I sketched them first, just to give me that idea of where they were going. It doesn't have to be exact. We're just gonna blend that a little bit. And then put where that dark the dark end of the bridge here. This is a bridge. And that can get darker later, but right for now, you're just going to be able to see that. And then we'll have, you know, something come across here at the top to give you that sense of there's another layer, right? Okay, so now when I, because I saved those white spots, now I can come and I can put this very bright and beautiful flower in, and there's some more over here, over the white of the paper. And then they really show up. And these are funky, kind of reddish pink reddish, pinkish, brownish leaves here. And they are going to be darker, ultimately, but they do have some light aspects. So having them on the weight of the paper is really going to have those light aspects show up. 
So there you go.